Hello everyone, Ken and Louie here, and finally getting to recording January's Canon Chat in February because of reasons that I will explain. So this time around, I'm going to be showing a bit of World of Tanks, and it is because for the last 10 days, I had been grinding this thing. The WZ-114. So, I'm not sure if it'll show. I suppose not. There was a an event where you could grind this thing for free if you decide to spend roughly anywhere between 30 to 50 hours grinding this thing out. And I decided to do that because I needed credits and I kind of wanted an excuse to get credits in this game. So credits is the in-game currency and the special tanks premiums give higher credits than usual. So I'm going to be playing a few games in, in this and I did turn off the sound just so that I could be more focused and not worry about the whole switching up audio thing to make sure that it is properly balanced. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate some boosters here. Because I'm gonna be playing after I'm done recording this anyway. So, the... So yeah, the, the last 10 days I had been focusing on grinding this out with playing tier 8 premiums, which are before they introduced tier 9 premiums roughly a few months ago. I don't remember when the first one came out, but they came out with the idea of tier 9 premiums in this game. So if you un are unfamiliar with World of Tanks, they have a lo level slash tier system that you go from tier 1 all the way to tier 10, and typically before recently tier 8 premiums were the highest to earn increased amount of credits. But now they have tier 9 premiums and I earned this one for free by spending way too much time playing this game. So I kind of wanted to say like a bit of my experiences on that. Uh, throughout this, but but yeah, the reason why I haven't gotten to <laughs> recording Black Mesa yet is because I decided to do this, which, to be completely honest, if I wasn't wanting any, any excuse to grind credits, I f there's no way I would have done this, even though that I am currently still not working and and whatnot there's just no way that I would be willing to part with that amount of time without good reason and let's just say this tank is not a good enough reason for that I mean it's decent I mean I kind of enjoy the gameplay of it but the original price for this so so think about this this is a theoretically free-to-play game, and I say theoretically because realistically that's not really going to happen. <laughs> I mean, sure, you can, you can certainly do that, but you're going to have a lot of problems, like running out of credits all the time and not being able to have very good crews if you decide to do that. Uh, miss the super conquer and I don't want to go up here go all the way up there where they are because the weak points on this tank are actually very easy to hit in close range so yeah using uh, the remainder of my premium days that I got from the Christmas loot boxes that my parents gifted to me oh, that was a pretty bad shot I had some premium days to to work on this. Uh, 
Uh, come on. Of course, there's I, I can get shots when I'm reloading, but not but not when I'm actually ready to shoot stuff. Uh, that's not a very good shot. No, it isn't. There we go, hit them pretty hard. Now that they're finally going over and they're no longer hiding their hull armor. So, this Panzer 7 is probably gonna, gonna be screwed now because my rate of fire is way too slow. So, getting back on topic, this tank originally, in a free to play game, buying this digital tank was full price ninety dollars usd so <laughs> it's like the concept that you can spend that much money on not actually like <laughs> even brand new games full price these days are like seventy dollars so i could buy a brand new triple a title for seventy dollars and even if you include like dlc and season passes and whatever it's still probably gonna be around that ninety dollars for this thing <laughs> and yeah it looks cool especially with the camo i have on it but at the same time was it really worth grinding 30 to 50 hours? No way. <laughs> it's just... Um... And I know I might have... It definitely looks like I left my teammates to be destroyed there, but... It, like, I would have been destroyed with them if I was that far ahead. Because the weak points on this thing are just that easy to hit. So yeah, 90 we're in a day and age where you can spend $90. Well, I mean you can technically spend more on that depending on the game. Uh I mean I have seen in-game stuff that were even more than this. But I mean <laughs> $90 to experience this thing which is okay at best. I mean it's not great. Uh, I didn't quite re hit the turret the right way there. So yeah, I've been doing that instead of recording. <laughs> Whoops. So recording, I think, would be a good idea for a break from this game. For sure, because of that time investment. Ah. Get his lower plate just angled just properly. So going over the real life stuff, we finally bought paint for, for my bedroom. So that's all ready to go. And the drywall that was damaged by the tree that fell into the side of my bedroom has all been fixed now. So so we're making progress, that's for sure, on on my bedroom and that's really nice. Really nice to see. Because of those bushes I can't spot them apparently. And I'm not gonna not gonna go forward against them. So yeah, progress has been definitely made on that. And then for Arcanites and the Arcanites channel, there was a few more videos that I did want to record, but I was doing this instead. So one thing that I do want to make perfectly clear, especially for like any 
Well, even if it is a paid game or free-to-play game, regardless, if you're spending this much time within a short amount of time, so let's just say 50 hours within 10 days, like I did, to get to this, Uh, even though that I backed up, he hit me. Yeah. So if the weak point is that easy to hit at that range, imagine how easy it is to hit at close range. Like, yeah, I wasn't really moving too much, but that's just... Uh... So if I could tank out that VK, that would be fantastic. Or just blind fire him, that always works, I guess. So yeah, definitely things are progressing. He's aiming for me, isn't he? Yeah. And he gets to do it for free, because this tank's gun handling is just that bad. Or you just fire gold at me, that's fine too. So yeah, that's pretty much this tank in a nutshell. It's slow, it's gun handling is not that great. And it's armor pretty much only works at decent distances, so you can't really be in the face of anything. Unless you're hiding your commander's hatch there. So the credits isn't even super amazing either. So yeah, probably could have done better, but but oh well. So for the Arcanite stuff, they just recently had their second anniversary, so that's pretty exciting. And they had a pretty big event that kind of spiced things up in terms of both difficulty and they switched some stuff around on how they do things. So that's pretty cool. And then, like I said, there was a few things that I had ideas for recording for that, so if any of you, for any reason, are interested in Arknights, which is a tower defense mobile game, then um, there's some stuff to come for that. So, also regarding the mission marathon thing, to get this tank, another thing to mention too is that or I guess it was kind of my incomplete thought from earlier if you spend this much time on getting stuff in a game technically for free but then you have to put your entire life on hold in order to do this then it probably isn't worth it I was so frustrated about times of like just basic stuff like my like going with my parents in order to get groceries and things like that um that um that you just spend time and stuff to do that and then i i'm always thinking of oh this is two to three hours that i can't spend on grinding this thing out and and that is very stressful and even though that i wasn't really getting tired of world of tanks shockingly enough and yeah, just fire your gold, chieftain. Yeah, this thing basically doesn't have armor against tier 10 gold, and chieftain, or T95 FV4201 chieftains always fired nothing but gold, because being in the best tank isn't good enough. But anyway, the just spending so much time of like thinking about the different things that I'm spending time on and not being able to grind this tank out because of or thinking about oh I'm spending time doing the essential stuff rather than and of course there's tanks over here now and miss. 
Yeah, it's the other tier 9 premium. Surprise that hit him. But yeah, if you're spending if, if you have to put your life on hold in order to in order to get something in a game, it isn't worth it. Because the amount of stress and mental health uh strain that that put on me was it just flat out was very problematic in my opinion or not just my opinion but but just how I felt afterwards it's just So yeah, definitely don't don't sacrifice all of that just to get something in a game. Because it just it just isn't worth it. I mean, you you could if if you have have a job that you can work overtime for. I mean, $90 is a lot, don't get me wrong. But depending on how your job is and how and whether or not you can actually do overtime and what that overtime pay is you could theoretically work like three to five extra hours in one week to get this tank instead of spending 50 plus hours grinding it out it's just absolutely insane to think about um, and it still is very overpriced Yeah, no, I'm gonna get farmed. Yeah. Come on, Progetto. Take that. So, another loss, because this tank just frankly isn't really influential enough in battles to be able to do anything. I mean, sure, I can do a lot of damage and everything, but. Like, once you're at this point, and all you're doing is farming damage before your tank gets obliterated, you're... Yeah. Not exactly the best. Come on, Leopard, you know you wanted some. And yeah. T30 firing gold in the in the rhino being there. So definitely not the best of games. So so yeah, just just don't do it. Just don't do that to yourself. It's <laughs> I mean, working an extra few hours of overtime to spend money on that that's one thing, but spending that much real life time in order to grind all that is basically never worth it so regarding everything since i have finished the marathon and and everything i'm going to play one more game here for this 40,000 credits but like it doesn't even really earn that much credits either. Like, if I was in a tier 8 premium, I probably would have made more because of this stupidly high repair cost of this tank. And I probably should have been able to get one more shot in, but I didn't. Um, but, yeah. So, going over another thing that I'm going to... Uh, that I'm planning on doing is that I'm still planning on doing a impressions slash review of the next Path of Exile League, and I think I mentioned in my previous Path of Exile League review that because of the cha the quality of life changes that they made to Path of Exile's endgame content to make it so it doesn't feel like it takes forever to actually get to the desirable endgame content, um... I had been a lot more enthusiastic about playing Path of Exile again. And 
Unfortunately, last league, I decided to play a trapper character, which traps are some of the most clunky gameplay for me. So it definitely wasn't really all that enjoyable to play. Um, sure, it was nice to throw out a bunch of traps to do big damage as soon as all of them explode, but at the same time, uh, traps have problems, needless to say. So because of that, and my typical character planning of how I usually build my characters, they're almost never all that tanky. So because of that, um, I have a hard time actually enjoying the game because I have to be extremely overly cautious of what exactly I'm doing. Like, I have to, like, for basically any character that has good tankiness. Oh, really? And of course, he's not spotted. Unbelievable. See, this is the thing about World of Tanks. You, you make one move, and just because of happenstance, oh, you lose a quarter of your health. Oh, well, you lose half your health. So it's definitely at tier 9, well, tier 8, 9, and 10. It's, like, extremely unforgiving of making moves. Like, if you want to be aggressive and it doesn't pan out, you're basically screwed in order to do anything else uh, that game. So it's just very... can be very frustrating in that regard. But moreover, what I was talking about for Path of Exile is that is that um, is that I'm planning on doing a league review still, even though that the league has been out for a few days uh, since Friday, I do believe. And then I'm making a more tanky character this time around, so hopefully I can play Path of Exile longer and enjoy it longer than I did for the Trapper character, because the Trapper character pretty much was very... Like, it was satisfying to do that much damage with traps, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, though... See, I'm spotted again. Like, why can't we spot that ISU tank? Because he's probably, like, right there. Yeah, there we go little bugger. To be fair, the ISU probably has better gun handling than this tank does. All things considered. Um, I think the tortoise is making the right move. I'm bit being a bit too hesitant. And that bounced, apparently. Fantastic. And yeah, because of that ISU, I couldn't be in the proper position, and therefore my tank just dies. Fantastic. Anyway. So, yeah, I'm planning on making a definitely a tankier character that will hopefully be a character that just doesn't instantly die as soon as they face physical damage, or... Or that doesn't, um face off against, uh, that, I don't know, it just seems like the mitigation in Path of Exile, you pretty much need some source of dodge or block in order to be tanky, and the builds that I make, they just don't have 
block and dodge available to them unless I do like some really crazy shenanigans that take away from my damage output. And yeah, I should have just went with the tortoise. Like, that's the problem. Like, where I was, they shouldn't have even really been penning me unless they were hitting the stupid commander's hatch on this tank. Which they probably were. I mean, realistically. Such a bizarre tank. It's, it's a tank that's supposed to have a lot of armor, and yet when you go in close range you just don't have any armor because your weak spots are so big and your ar side armor is such trash that it just doesn't really work. Well, it doesn't work at that range, I should say. Um, so yeah, and, and I'm very curious to see what Path of Exile has done for... Oh, and they're firing premium rounds. I mean, not that that would really help them all that much, but... Oh, this tank is, uh... It's an enigma, I can tell you that. Anyway. So. Basically, their ISU-152K won them the game. So, good job on him. Because without him, I probably would have been able to kill both well, maybe not both, but at least kill... Actually, I probably would have been able to kill both of those tier 8 tanks. And then I would have been able to support the tortoise. So yeah, one tank can make all the difference, and... Oh, he's the last one left. World of Tanks in a nutshell, that's for sure. So yeah, uh, I keep getting distracted by stuff, but this is going to be the last the last game that I play for this recording. So regarding Path of Exile, they changed up um, a few things to make self-casting spells feel better by dealing more damage, but also decreasing the damage that uh, specific support gems do. So I'm really curious to see how that works, but I decided to play or planning on playing a slam character, so I don't even take advantage of that. So yeah, let's look at the report. Oh, six penetrations! Yeah, this thing has, like, super amazing armor, doesn't it, guys? Amazing! Incredible! Worth $90! <laughs> Just... I, I'm sorry, I'm being a bit uh, a bit negative in, in this when talking about this tank and World of Tanks in a whole, but uh, after doing this for this long, I mean, I do like the tank. I like its playstyle and everything, but the way that they advertised this Tier 9 premium that cost $90 was that it's supposed to have really good frontal armor and an okay gun at... Um, if used properly, and it just turns out that this tank has basically no armor if you're in close range, and at long range, you are so, like, you're kind of reliant on your team and the enemy making mistakes, so it's, it's very hard to actually influence games enough to win them in this tank. So, it's just very bizarre how they did that. Like, the AMX MLE 51 is basically this tank, but better at basically everything. So... <laughs> oh, but it doesn't make credits. How much credits did I make? Basically nothing. Nice. So yeah, if, if you play World of Tanks, just play the AMX M4 MOE 51, and you basically play this tank except better at basically everything. You don't want to have a lower plate that is penable by basically everybody, and basically the only concern is the commander's hatches are sort of easy to hit, 
Except, I mean, <laughs> this thing is kind of big as well, so... I don't know. And this thing is way faster and a lot more convenient to play, so it's just kind of... Huh. Yeah, just, just play this. Don't spend ninety dollars or f up to fifty hours of your life grinding this. Just, just, just get this or the E seventy five, which does the same damage and is probably better at just about everything. Well, it doesn't have ten degrees of gun depression, I guess, but weird tank. So yeah, I I am planning on recording Black Mesa really soon here. Hopefully within uh, this next week. And then I can get back to uh, also doing more of the Arknights recordings that I wanted to do that I couldn't mentally fit into my schedule because of grinding this. So yeah, if I didn't need credits at the time because I had like two million and then I spent six million credits so I earned like over 20 million over that time and spent um, a ton of these boosters like the 50% credit ones I had like 220 of those or more so uh, I guess that actually adds up about 50 hours yeah if I didn't need those credits, and it, like for sure, if I was working at any capacity, this would have been impossible. It just, it, it's basically if you earn this for free, you have to basically have no obligations in your life in order to have enough time to do that. And was it worth it? Um, like I said, if, if I didn't have if I didn't need credits at the time and needed an excuse to spam play my tier 8 premiums like the double barrel tank is pretty fun uh, surprisingly the WZ111 was was really fun to play as well um, this yeah this would not be in my garage at all for sure and there are some statistics of this tank, especially the gun handling, that just doesn't make sense that, like, everything this tank is supposed to do, it sort of does, but not really. Look, it has good enough frontal armor that if you're using your gun depression, it kind of works. Um, it has an accurate gun, but takes forever to aim. And reload, it just, so many things just don't make sense on this tank, uh, compared to what they advertised it to do. But anyway, yeah, so definitely with this, I'm able to essentially get back to the regularly scheduled programs of recording stuff. So, and also on top of that, uh, more progress on my bedroom being done, which means I can get off of sleeping on the couch for once. And that'll be really nice. So, hooray for getting back to life. <laughs> but yeah, I this as um. You can probably ask uh, my good friend uh, Warmonger online of um. Of how my ramblings go for World of Tanks. Like I can I can pick pretty much any topic regarding World of Tanks and then rant about them for hours. And hopefully this hasn't been too ranty for you, and has been a little bit more focused. Like, the TLDR version is that I spent 10 days of my life spending uh, time grinding this out, and because of that I did not have either enough time or be in the mental state of working on recording projects, or quite frankly more productive things in my life. So, yeah, a tier nine premium that doesn't earn cr that doesn't earn that good of credits that cost ninety dollars in a free to play game that doesn't really even do what it's advertised to do all that well. 
I think that pretty much sums it up. Really, it's just <laughs> a $90 tank that doesn't really do what it's supposed to do very well. But I don't mind it. It's just a tank that really can't carry games very well and there are other tier 9s like the MLE 51 and the E75 that basically do what this tank does except better in almost every way except for maybe gun depression uh, if you're really stretching it and obviously this thing has 2300 HP but then that becomes a detriment because you have to pay like six to eight thousand more credits if you get destroyed to pay for that for no good reason it's makes no sense but I mean wargaming hasn't made a lot of sense for a number of years so well I do enjoy world of tanks sometimes if basically if they mo remove premium rounds altogether then this and potentially artillery this game would probably be 10 times better than it ever was so with that um hopefully with this ramble that i've gotten all the points across that i wanted to so with that thank you very much for watching have a wonderful day hope you had a good new year and once again don't spend 30 to 50 hours of your life within 10 days to grind a $90 tank or equivalent in any other game and put your life on hold. It is, from my experience, it is not good for your mental health, physical health, and it just straight up makes no sense. So, unless, I mean, I don't mean to sound hostile when I say th that unless you have no life, there is literally no reason to do what I just did. So with that, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully I can get back to recording real soon and have a wonderful day.